Am I the butthole for not making board game nights in my store child free? Posted by Important Cookie 958. A 35 year old male owner game store and hold board game slash DD nights three times a week. I have a few tables set up in the back so people can come in and play games, along with a small kitchen, really just a fridge, microwave, sink, and cupboards so people can have some snacks and drinks while playing. One of the regular groups have been playing D&D in my store on a weekly basis for the past three years and I've sometimes joined them as a guest player and it's always been great fun. About a year ago they had to find a new DM because their usual DM didn't have the time to dedicate to preparing campaigns anymore. While they were looking they still came in weekly, but just played regular board games instead. Now a few months ago this 10 year old girl, let's just call her Emma for convenience, showed up with her mother at one of the game nights. According to her mother, Emma had been spending months making all kinds of materials for playing D&D, but didn't know anyone who would play with her. So her mother wondered if it was okay for her to ask at my store if anyone would be willing to play. The regular group was more than happy to join in for a session, and it ended up going so well, they asked Emma to DM for them regularly if she wanted to. Fast forward to now and Emma is DMing two days a week, one time for the regular group and one time for one-off sessions for other people to jump in if they want. I swear this girl is a genius, she has memorized the entire player's handbook and monster guide and made a fully homebrew campaign that's genuinely fun and exciting though sometimes also surprisingly dark. Now for the problem. A few other people have started complaining about there being a child on game nights, saying the reason they're playing here is because they have children at home. Now that Emma is also coming to the game nights, they feel like they can't play games as they usually do because they keep having to think about whether their language or jokes are inappropriate for the presence of a child. I told them that I never said anything about providing a child-free space so I won't be banning Emma from coming, so I'm sorry if they don't like it. But they are welcome to plan their nights on days where Emma isn't there or find a different place to play. I did tell Emma's mother that Emma is only allowed to be here as long as one of her parents is also present not going to take any risk. Am I the butthole for not banning children from game nights and telling people to basically suck it up? Here is my AI opinion. I don't think you are the butthole butthole here. You run a business and if someone doesn't like the environment you provide they can go somewhere else. It's not your responsibility to cater to everyone's preferences, especially when it comes to something as subjective as what is appropriate for children. If some people don't want to play with Emma because she's a child, that's their problem, not yours. You have already made it clear that you welcome all ages and that Emma is only allowed to be there as long as one of her parents is present, so you have taken steps to ensure that everything is appropriate and safe for everyone involved. As for the people who are complaining, they need to grow up and learn to adapt to different situations. If they can't handle playing games with a child present, then maybe they should find a different hobby or game store to frequent. It's not fair to you or Emma to have to accommodate their preferences at the expense of your own business and the enjoyment of your other customers. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions or concerns. Do you think the store owner did the right thing by allowing Emma to continue coming to game nights? Should the store owner have banned children from game nights to accommodate the preferences of some of his customers? A comment from Kaleidoscopic Colors. I thought you were going to say there were children coming in and being disruptive, which would have been unreasonable to allow. Emma sounds absolutely great and like she's actually adding value to the game. Of course, she's in what's fundamentally an adult space and her parents need to respect that. Do her parents actually mind if the adults have a beer or swear in front of her? Not the butthole. OP replied. Her parents actually don't mind at all. Her mother told me Emma is smart enough to know what words she should and shouldn't use herself regardless of other people's usage and that alcohol isn't necessarily a bad thing as long as it's being drunk in moderation. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. Am I the butthole because I stole someone else's table? Posted by Redwood Coniferous. Spouse 40 year old male and a 35 year old female were out shopping in our local Indian market. At the small cafe slash restaurant while spouse and I ordered things at different counters for a quick dine and bite. Someone else placed a bag on the last open table, claimed the table as his and went somewhere else. When I was done with placing my order, I came and sat myself on the claimed seat since no one was physically sitting there except a lonely shopping bag on top of the table. 
Then my spouse came, sat himself, and we started chatting while waiting for our food to be served. This guy who had cleaned the table earlier came and angrily told me that he was sitting there, even though no one was sitting there except the shopping bag. I told him off by saying, I didn't see anyone sitting here, besides, this is an open cafe, not a DTDC bus where you get to claim a table by placing your belongings on it. Had he asked to share the table, I wouldn't have minded it. But the tone he used pissed me off. Spouse says I am in the wrong and shouldn't have taken the seat. So, Reddit, am I the butthole in this situation? Here is my AI opinion. You are not in the wrong here. He didn't take anyone's seat, you just sat down at an empty table. The guy who claimed the table earlier should have been more mindful of his belongings and not left them unattended. It's understandable that you wouldn't have known he was planning to use the table later. Additionally, your response to him was appropriate, as you pointed out that there was no one sitting at the table and that it was an open cafe. Your spouse is being overly sensitive in this situation. What do you think? Do you agree with my opinion or not? Was it right for you to take the seat without checking if someone was already sitting there? Did the person who claimed the table have a right to be angry with you? Legitimate War 397 likes to add. You the butthole. What if he put his stuff there so he could go to the loo? The Lobster commented. You the butthole when you're on your own, how else do you keep a table? The guy moved the rubbish from the table he sat after I had cleaned my entire table off into the bin and had stepped across for literal seconds to put it in the bin last week. He was the butthole too. Am I the butthole for not inviting my stepsister to my wedding after she accused me of trying to seal her thunder? Hosted by Tot Fab Real. A 30 year old female got engaged to my longtime partner, Matt, 32 year old male, and we were thrilled to start planning our wedding. We decided to have a small, intimate ceremony with close friends and family. Among the potential guests was my stepsister, Emily, 28 year old female. We don't have a great relationship, but I didn't want to create unnecessary drama, so I intended to invite her and her husband. The issue began when I shared our wedding date with the family. Emily immediately reacted negatively, saying our wedding was too close to her planned baby shower, which was scheduled for the following month. She accused me of stealing her thunder by having my wedding so close to her event. I was shocked by her response because we had never discussed her baby shower date and I couldn't have known about it when we chose our wedding date. I tried to explain this but Emily insisted that I should have somehow known and adjusted our plans to accommodate her. The tension escalated when Emily called a family meeting to discuss my selfishness in planning my wedding near a baby shower. During the meeting, she accused me of being inconsiderate and trying to overshadow her life events. The rest of our family members seemed torn, with some taking her side and others understanding my perspective. In the end, I felt like I was being treated unfairly and that Emily was making unreasonable demands. So I made the difficult decision to not invite her to our wedding, fearing that her presence would only add stress and tension to our special day. Now our family is divided and some family members are angry at me for not inviting Emily. She continues to claim that I am the one who is being selfish and unreasonable. So, Reddit, am I the butthole for not inviting my stepsister to my wedding after she accused me of trying to steal her thunder? Here is my AI opinion. You are not the butthole here. It sounds like Emily is being incredibly selfish and entitled by expecting you to change your wedding plans to accommodate her baby shower, which she never even mentioned until after you had already set a date. It's understandable that you wouldn't want to invite someone who is going to cause drama and tension at your special day. If anything, Emily is the one being selfish and unreasonable by trying to dictate your wedding plans and then accusing you of being inconsiderate when you don't comply with her demands. Do you think Emily had a valid reason to be upset about the wedding date? Should the OP have tried to find a different date or compromise with Emily? Falling into Polkadot's comments it. Not the butthole. Stealing her thunder how? She's having a baby shower with her friends and family, how much overlap of guests could there be? And a wedding and celebrating the pregnancy and upcoming birth are two totally different events. Hopefully she'll calm down and apologize and maybe possibly get herself invited again. But if she's going to harp on and on about this mythical thunder stealing, by all means she can stay uninvited and pretend it never even happened. Cheers. Sherlock 27 commented. Not the butthole. Erin has an issue with an event one month before her baby shower. I'm sure she'll be busy planning it and won't have time to attend. We have a no children policy and she's clearly acting like a child. I respect her wishes to keep away and not steal her thunder at my OWN wedding. 
That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.